Welcome adventurers. Today we're exploring the West Coast Falconry Center in beautiful Yuba County. Located about 90 minutes north of Sacramento and nestled in the picturesque gold country foothills of the Central Valley, the West Coast Falconry Center is host to one of the most intimate and unforgettable wildlife encounters you can experience. Here at West Coast Falconry, visitors learn about the rich hunting history of falconry and interact with all manners of birds of prey, including hawks, owls, and of course, falcons. <laughs> Look at you, you did it, Charlie, on your own. Oh, wow, that is so cool. The West Coast Falconry Center is the first of its kind in California. It's both a training center for people interested in pursuing falconry and an interactive wildlife exposition. But what really sets it apart from other attractions, like a zoo or theme park, is the accessibility visitors have with these majestic birds. During the falconry's classes and demonstrations, you're not only treated to the rich history and spectacular displays of raptors in flight, but you may also experience a close-up, face-to-face encounter with a real live apex predator. That's the kind of experience you don't get every day. While we've already met some of the birds here and had a glimpse into some of the West Coast falconry experiences, you may have heard that wherever I go, I always want to know what's the story. I'm here now with Kate Marden, owner, instructor, and master falconer at West Coast Falconry. So tell us, Kate, what is the story of West Coast Falconry? Well, the average person isn't going to become a falconer, but everybody loves raptors. Everybody. I mean, it's just insane. I want to preserve the sport by educating the general population because most of the people that you talk to think that we starve our birds into submission and think that they um, are not capable of caring for themselves and the reality is completely opposite. As you've seen, every time we fly our birds, we let them go. And they choose to come back. So I want to teach people I want to save the sport by educating. The sport of falconry in and of itself is using a trained bird of prey to take game in its natural habitat. It's one of the ways that, as we talked about, our ancestors put food on the table. The things that have come from the sport of falconry are also helping to preserve it. For instance, so abatement, using birds of prey to um, harass and haze wild birds in different aspects like uh, golf courses, vineyards, airports. It's a green way, it's a very ecologically sound way of dealing with the pest birds. The point is not to kill them, it's to make them go someplace else. It gives our birds a job and it puts the sport into a more um, positive light. There is a very ancient attraction with humans and, and birds of prey. I mean, we're always fascinated by them. Birds of prey are the it birds of the 21st century. Owls are just everywhere. And every commercial you look at has got a falcon or a hawk or something. So here is the opportunity to get up close and personal and meet a bird and see birds f more closely. Instead of, uh, you know, using your binoculars or something, you actually get to get pretty darn close to the birds. And as you know, we pull them out off of their perches and you get to have them fly to your glove. So it's an, it's an opportunity to truly connect with the wild. 99.9% .9 of the time what we're getting is this was the most amazing thing I've ever done. A lot of people say that this is their bucket list to be able to interact with a bird of prey. Some people they're so excited they can't move and so that's, that's a kick for me. I like yeah. that. We've come to the end of our exploration here at the West Coast Falconry Center. Wasn't that so totally unexpected? Even the locals in Yuba County probably don't know that this gem exists in their own backyards. Majestic birds, a rich history, and passionate staff make this experience unforgettable, and we've only had a glimpse of all they offer. There's so many rare finds and places to explore in California. I hope you'll join us on our next adventure.
If you want to know more, check out my blog at areyouthatwoman.com. And if you visit, be sure to share your adventures with the hashtag areyouthatwoman. Don't go away. I'm going to tell you why on your next adventure you may just want to throw away your GPS when we come back.